my story once again, since YouTube likes to take down my comments to uh, uh, political individuals on YouTube. They don't want others to know. Uh, in 2016, I was on Facebook, on Eddie Crimmins' uh, Facebook page, uh, who's a liberal, a friend of mine, who had other liberals there talking about politics. I got into an argument with a man named Fred Barnes, who turned out to be an agent for Homeland Security. Mr. Fred Barnes didn't like my political beliefs, and he really hated the fact that I was an outspoken Trump supporter on social media platforms. Uh, after these, uh, well, he actually cyber-stalked me for quite a while, for like two years, and uh, I guess on the third year, I eventually uh, uh, found out that he, in fact, does work for Homeland Security. Uh, you can actually see him on LinkedIn with all his Homeland Security credentials to be seen. Uh, uh, in 2016, that's when the COINTELPRO tactics started. I mean, everything. Felony stalking, shooting out the windows of my truck, popping the tires on the truck, running into the back of the truck, stomping the front uh, bumper of the truck, just basically destroying my vehicle. I mean, it, they must have uh, vandalized the vehicle about 20 or 30 times. Uh, broke into my home uh, three or four times every time we went on vacation. Uh, you know, the uh, little little uh, COINTELPRO tactics with the red cars and, and all this other bullshit that they do. You know, the street theater and all this other crap they do to try to make the target look mentally ill. Uh, they love playing the mental illness card along with the drug addict card and schizophrenia card and all the other bullshit they do to, to discredit the target. Uh, Fred Barnes, he's an African-American male. Uh, you can see him on LinkedIn with all his Homeland Security credentials to be seen. Uh, not too long ago, Jim Jordan was actually uh, speaking to the head of the FBI about putting people on a Homeland Security watch list over their freedom of speech on Facebook, uh, which is highly illegal. And that's exactly what Fred Barnes did to me. He illegally put me on a Homeland Security watch list over my freedom of speech. Uh, I've said this before, too. You know, meanwhile, I'm a 53-year-old disabled man. I have no felonies. I have a few misdemeanors from the past. Uh, some of them were actually setups by the government. Uh, I'm an outspoken uh, supporter of civil and constitutional rights on social media platforms. Yes, I am an outspoken Trump supporter as well. Uh, uh to put me on a watch list over those reasons is highly illegal. And uh, I recommend to everyone to call that number I, I put out on my one of my last videos, which is the uh, Oversight Committee. Uh, the number I got from Jim Jordan's office, which is 202-225-5074. Once again, that number is 202 two two five five zero seven four that's the oversight committee they're the ones that deal with this kind of stuff uh i'm just sick and tired of youtube taking down my comments it's absolutely unreal that youtube would actually help these criminals violate our first amendment right and, and actually help, help these criminals. I mean, my God, these guys have committed every misdemeanor and felony imaginable against my wife and I. You know, I, I got police officers in Anne Arundel County that won't even uh, file police reports on people shooting out the windows of my truck. I actually had to call Internal Affairs to get the report written when they shot out the window of my truck. And like I said, and I'll say it again, that report never made it into the local newspaper, didn't make it into the local news. The next day, what made it on the local newspaper and local news was uh, the police beat said someone broke into a vehicle over a backpack. <laughs> the shooting wasn't even mentioned. This is how, this is how uh, these people have this system controlled here in Maryland. If they want to destroy you, they will hide it from the public. 
public won't even have any knowledge of you being systematically destroyed and systematically murdered by these criminals with badges. Uh, anyways, that's really what I had to say. I mean, I'm just sick and tired of uh, YouTube uh, taking down my comment. So, you know what? Every time they take down my comment, I just make a video and put it up that way. God bless.